All right, welcome back, everybody. You know we love having fun with National Days here on PTL. National Drink Red Wine Day, National Margarita Day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Sounds like you have a problem, David. Well, there are others. They're, they're not just alcohol-based. <laughs> National Love Your Pet Day, even National Shower with a Friend Day. One we have yet to celebrate. No. We should make Ron, mention. Ron has said before on the air he will never celebrate that day. <laughs> <laughs> and the source for our inspiration for these celebrations comes from the National Day calendar. Jill even got David the official calendar for Christmas this year, which she has put to good use, as you've seen here on PTL. Yeah, that's why we have tortilla chips. <laughs> and we're excited to talk to the man today behind the calendar, founder Marlo Anderson, live from North Dakota. North so, Dakota! Yeah, North, North Dakota, Dakota. That's right. So nice Hello, of Pittsburgh. you. Hello, Pittsburgh. Hello. Yeah, <laughs> we appreciate you being with us. I don't know that I'm excited are you, to be here today. Are you from North Dakota, like you're born I and raised? Well, born in South Dakota, but just lived there for three months and then moved to North Dakota. So yes, wow. and I, I was impressed. It was 50 degrees, or it's 50 degrees. Is this your f first 50 degree day this year? This year, yeah, oh. yeah. That's amazing because we've had in 60s here. So that's no incredible. No kidding. I thought we North Dakota was. I've never <laughs> met anybody from North Dakota. This is exciting. This is a big it day is. for me. <laughs> so, Marlo, we want to ask you just about how you got all the days. Uh, because just accumulating these, like, there's so much information in here. So it started as a passion of mine. I, I'm a web developer by trade. And uh, about, you know, eight years ago, back to about nine years ago now, we started, I couldn't find any, inf any information about National Popcorn Day. Simple as that. And I thought it was weird in a day of information that there was no site out there that uh, was built towards National Day. So I started investigating and uh, um, it kind of became a thing. You know, we started telling the stories about how the National Days came to be. Uh, many of the stories, you know, uh, Congress passed a lot of uh, National Days back in the 1700s, 1800s, 1900s. It's amazing how far back these go. Uh, and then you have companies like Hallmark, you know, like Mother's Day and things like that that came to be. So you have uh, a, a big combination of a bunch of different ways that National Days came to be. Uh -huh. Started writing about them, and then media started following National Day calendar, <laughs> and here we are now. It's It literally has become the biggest trending topic of all time, which is just amazing to me. I need to research more about National Unicorn Day, like how that one came to be. I don't know if you have the, the history on that one. My girls would love to know. But we have noticed that there are a lot of, like, there's National Drink Wine Day, but there's also, yeah. like, a national red wine day, a national yes. white wine day, which has led our viewers to uh, worry about us a little bit. Because <laughs> we try to celebrate <laughs> them all, Marlo. <laughs> That's a good thing, actually, yes. Yeah. What are some yeah. of the weirder days that you have found, in, or, or do you have favorites? Oh, a little of both, you know, so weird days. I, I always think that bittersweet chocolate covered almond day is kind of a weird day. It's just so specific, right? <laughs> yes. That was uh, passed in Congress, I think it was 1832. And it's just unique because the technology at the time allowed that to happen, right? So that's why it was a thing. And then, of course, I dug it up and here it's a thing again. So I, I, I don't know. I, I sometimes wonder if I went a little too far in my research, but... Uh, and then uh, my favorite days, of course, Popcorn Day, and then about seven, well, I guess about six years ago now, um, we started declaring our own national days because uh, Congress doesn't do it anymore. We had all of this pressure uh, to start declaring new national days. So we have this process. Uh, we get about 20,000 applications a year. Wow. And if you're lucky, you get, you know, we, we declare maybe 20 to 25 new national days. Of the new ones, National Astronaut Day is my favorite. I am a space geek. Yes. And, absolute, and, and I get to play with astronauts now. It is such a cool thing for me. So I love that. National Astronaut Day. Can we celebrate that? How yeah, do we celebrate I don't know. That? We could dress up like astronauts. I'm not sure. It's Cinco de Mayo Day as well, so you can kind of celebrate together. All oh, right. Saying. Perfect. Yeah. Right. We might have to have you can have back. a margarita or drink tang, I'm hearing in my ear, because that's what astronauts drink. That's hilarious. Yes. Yeah. That's a very good idea. All it, right. It was so much fun for you to join us. We love this. I wish we could talk to you every day. I'm so glad that that uh, you share this with Pittsburgh, and uh, thank you for being, uh, you know, part of the Celebration Nation. Really appreciate that. Uh, our new friend it's from fun. North Dakota. Yeah, we're, we now have a friend from North Dakota. There All you right, go. thank you, Marlo. We appreciate it. Bye -bye. Marlo Anderson. Bye. He is the man behind the National Day calendars that we talk about. All, all the time. Really. I love this show because we get to talk to so many fun people. I know. Wasn't he's that fun? one of them. 